Hello travelers and welcome back to another episode here at Tourist to Local. So right now we have one of the classics of Tourist yes. to Local. Yes, it's actually our sixth annual top things to do in Puerto Vallarta. Guess what? We still haven't run out of things to tell you guys because you're in some good hands. That's right. We used to live over here. We got married over here. So we know a little thing or two about this place. Yeah, you got the uh, international perspective over here. I'm from the USA and... You have the national. You have the Mexican <laughs> over here. Actually, if you're new here, our goal is to visit every state in the US and Mexico, but we just can't stop coming back to Vallarta. Something about it. A little piece of our hearts is always over here. So let's start these things that you have to do in Puerto Let's go. First place is one that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Perfect for kids, nature lovers, and it's one that's relatively new, so not many people know about it. This is the Mariposario Jardin Magico, a butterfly sanctuary established in 2019 that is the only butterfly sanctuary in the Bahia de Banderas. This project is led by some incredibly passionate folks working to address issues in local biodiversity and wildlife conservation. This 45 minute guided tour taught us so much about the local butterfly population and why it's crucial now more than ever to protect their environment. This spot is open to visitors by tour only and you can make your booking on their website, which we'll link in the description. Not only did we love being led by our passionate guide, but we also love meeting the friendly animals on the property, Nina the dog and Bacon the pig. I love this place, especially our guide, because he has so much passion for butterflies, for nature, and you can learn a lot of things. It's not only a different type of activity that you will do in Vallarta, it's fun and educational. So I really recommend this place. Another activity you can enjoy during your time in Puerto Vallarta is a trip to the Chaco Museo. This is actually just a couple of steps away from the Malecon and a great place to enjoy learning about the chocolate making process, eating some chocolate, and even making your own chocolate. They have workshops here, fun activity for kids or any chocolate lover. We're gonna go see what it's all about. you can choose your own toppings. So I'm more like a dark chocolate kind of guy, you know, and salt and some almonds and some different things. <laughs> Simple guy. Next in our list is Marisma, a small taco stand that serves some of the best shrimp and fish tacos in town. What makes them so good is the fact that the batter is fresh, light and crispy. It's located in Emiliano Zapata and open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. And the shrimp tacos cost 39 pesos each. Another activity that we recommend during your time in Puerto Vallarta is a trip to Islas Marietas. This set of islands of the coast of Puerto Vallarta is home to some incredible species of animals. The main attraction of Islas Marietas is Hidden Beach, an unusual cratered beach that is only accessible when the tide is low. Last week we published a video experiencing this island for the first time and it's full of all sorts of helpful information. It's important to note that not all tours that visit this island allows you to step on the beach. So so be careful when you pick an option. Now if you're looking for a breakfast place that has a great mission behind it, we love to come to the Green Place. We actually used to live a block away from here and we'd stop in here for coffee all the time. What we love is that although we aren't vegan, this is a 100% vegan restaurant and we have some really cool food offerings. I'm going to order some chilequiles, we're also going to get a couple other things to show you guys. It's a good way to start your day. amazing as always and those of you guys who downloaded our ebook that we put out a little while ago of the top things to do in Puerto Vallarta have already known about this place before the rest of you guys. We actually mentioned it in that book. The ebook you can download in our merch store. It contains over 40 recommendations of restaurants and activities so check it out in the link down below. Another thing that you can do while you're in Puerto Vallarta is taking a day trip to Yelapa. 
Yelapa is a little beach town in the south of Puerto Vallarta and you can only get here by boat. It is picturesque. It's going to make your vacation so memorable. And you'll see a lot of tours they're selling in Puerto Vallarta to try to take you here. But did you know there's a cheaper way to do it on your own? And we have a whole video on our experience. Oh yes, I recommend you to watch, but wait, wait. First finish this one. Another thing that it could be obvious, but it's not, is La Iglesia de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. That is that amazing church that we have over here that is so iconic. You can take some amazing pictures outside, like we're gonna put Juliana and me over here. If you're the person that you like to take some pictures, this one is so iconic. With the arch and with the little seahorse, I think it's the most iconic of all Puerto Vallarta. because we heard it's overpriced but we took advantage that right now it's restaurant week we're cheap so we use this special occasion in order to come over here to try some dishes we're gonna get three courses for 500 pesos it's a bargain it's restaurant week it, it's not only a week it's like for a month and the most famous uh, restaurants in Mallarta, they give you this special menu, like three or four courses, and they charge less than what they normally charge uh, for you to try this menu that they already made. a more romantic dinner with a view of the ocean, La Palapa is your place to go. This is our favorite beachside restaurant. There are so many that you can find in Playa Los Muertos, but this one, they have a really good menu. Their food's amazing. It's a pretty affordable price and the views are pretty spectacular. Plus, we love that it's a little bit away from all the action down there, so it's kind of quiet and romantic. Bon appetit! Of the day, Colibri Bar. This jungle themed speakeasy is tucked away in the busy streets of the centro. Colibri Bar has a fun and hip vibe that makes it the perfect place to listen to some of the local DJs. We recommend grabbing a spot on their patio and trying one of the many cocktails and mocktails. Hope you guys enjoy these top things that you have to do in Puerto Vallarta. We had an awesome time putting this together for you guys. Make sure to check out our entire playlist That's of right. things to do in Vallarta and the surrounding area because we have a lot. Yes. And also don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like the video. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Curious what camera gear we use while traveling? Want to rock some of our awesome merch? Or maybe you just want a discount with some of our favorite companies? Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to all these things and more.